if this doesn't get your attention, probably nothing will. But what you're seeing is no ordinary physical display of martial arts. This is an intense demonstration of the intimate connection between mind and body. These practitioners, the ancient martial art of Kung Fu, hail from the birthplace of the art, the Shaolin Temple in central China. These athletes are some of its disciples, and this man is their leader. Practicing of martial arts really is for building up one's health. That's the prime importance. This is Abbot Shi Yong Zen, the leader of China's Shaolin Temple and master of Kung Fu. This demonstration provides us with only a glimpse of Shaolin Kung Fu, considered by many to be the mother of all martial arts. The abbot wants you to understand that this demonstration is both a performance of the body and of the mind. He said in Shaolin Temple, before you are taught Shaolin Kung Fu, you have to be uh, uh, taught the Buddhism doctrines, and you have to abide by it, and you have to prove yourself first before you're allowed to learn martial arts in Shaolin Temple. The abbot is aware that martial arts have received the Hollywood treatment. After all, the arts were used over centuries as successful defense mechanisms for the wars that plagued the Shaolin region in China, but not so today. Uh, in Shaolin Temple, the main importance of uh, Kung Fu is actually to help them in their meditation and also to help them uh, uh, build up uh, a very healthy body and spirit. But the abbot stresses you don't have to do this to be able to benefit from 15 centuries of martial art development. Methods like Tai Chi are less strenuous ways to connect mind and body. The reward, he says, a healthy body and an enriched spirit. And they have 1,500 years of practice as proof.